A viewer asks what the connection is between chickenpox and shingles. They're both caused by the varicella zoster virus, which looks like a fried egg. It causes chickenpox in kids and young adults, but it doesn't die. Instead, it lives in your spinal cord and goes dormant there. It lives in the dorsal root, which is the root behind, that supplies sensation. The nerves from your skin all have cell bodies here in the dorsal root ganglion, and that's where the virus lives. The nerves in the front are motor control, and they go to the muscles. If you have decreased immunity because of something like HIV or stress or advanced age, then the virus, which is alive but dormant, can come down the nerve roots and you've got shingles. It starts with a fiery, tingly pain in a stripe or dermatome. Day one to six leads to the bumpy rash, resolves in two weeks, but 20% go into post-herpetic neuralgia, which is a year of severe pain, so we treat aggressively. Antivirals are used up to 72 hours from the onset. Analgesics up to opioids, such as morphine, are used because zoster is very painful. Anticonvulsants such as gabapentin are used to treat post neuralgia. Prevention, we recommend Zostravax in healthy adults over 60 to boost cellular immunity. And more than three servings of fresh fruit or vegetables a day may reduce your risk by two-thirds.